here we go for a great nice afternoon for some footballing fun this is Robert McCafferty here at the commentary pleasure to be here today we'll be here to uh, give you the play-by-play -play for the balance of this game we have uh, a nice start we are already in the zone of um, White Eagles Sasquatch recouping they're changing their uniforms uh, recently received as you can see they are playing from uh, left to right in the white and green stripes with the green uh, socks white pants and of course the white eagles in their classic red and white representing the mighty nation of Poland White Eagles is the first year entrant into the Premiership Division here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League and uh, they have been performing very nicely thank you very much uh, we were there to watch a fantastic uh, duel against the first place Verdansk and they scored a, a fantastic five goals to take that game away from the uh, mighty Verdansk club Sasquatch we've seen them already before here's a nice opportunity unfortunately offside Tunisian referee uh, rightfully uh, notices it the White Eagles first year entrant into the Premiership but yet have been playing uh, since 1982 long-time club here in the city of Montreal as for Sasquatch these are young lads coming out of the English uh, private school system I've played uh, very well together for several uh, different uh, schools and have progressed quite nicely into the college and some into the university level they're playing their football their second year of footballing here at the Premiership Division here's a nice cross and that uh, just missed it'll be cleared by the White Eagles Sasquatch team was previously known as the penetrators here at the Premiership and uh, they fared fairly well but still struggling to make that top four finish Sasquatch has a lot of depth a good bench when they're all of course healthy but unfortunately their striking capacity remains uh, a question mark as they continuously regroup and find themselves um, changing and uh, finding new players to take on those positions White Eagles on the other hand have a very rich bench a very big bench as well here's an opportunity for the White Eagles deep in the Sasquatch zone they're gonna be looking for an opportunity that's Patrick in the front the White Eagles as they have progressed uh, in in Montreal a lot of the players coming from uh, Poland some uh, growing up here in the city playing their football in various uh, systems whether it's high school college or university or else just in the regular club system they have a good chemistry they've played well together and we've seen them so far this summer here on the pitch at McGill Molson Stadium as you can see our cameras are sp pan spanning panning across the field uh, unfortunately an empty stands of course still following the COVID protocols league was shut down during the winter and we were lucky enough to recoup and come back as of the 22nd of June of this summer the Premiership division has gone through a rebranding with a new uh, select division and um, we've tried to squeeze in a full season 14 game season many of the teams are playing twice a week and uh, Stefan the goalkeeper clears the ball right up to Patty number 12 on the bottom of your screen here's a nice opportunity nice little lob and nothing's there it'll be turned over to Sasquatch Sasquatch again turns it over it's going back and forth and lobbed right on top of the screen Sasquatch on top of the ball an opportunity maybe the mids are trying to find an opening going through the very mighty White Eagles defense and cleared 
up on top of the left side. White Eagles now back up to Sasquatch. Sasquatch is going to send it over. Here's a nice opportunity for Sasquatch if they can get access to it, but the uh, defense will not have any of it and has stopped short in their ability to move forward for a nice throw in. So Sasquatch now with the ball. Ball back in. Now playing up. And just out. Here is an opportunity to move in. Oh, player goes down. Flag is up. Looks like it. It is a foul. Tunisian referee uh, Azmi Kaya, longtime veteran of the league, signals a uh, foul. And the White Eagles are going to be taking it deep into their zone, passing it uh, onto their defense. Now going to move it uh, deeper in. Seems like a handball there, but uh, referee doesn't think so. Sasquatch now with a nice opportunity. Nice penetration. Lipper is there and unfortunately just goes out for a uh, another throw-in. Cloudy skies today here at the stadium. We're right downtown Montreal at McGill Molson Stadium. Nice little chip. Sasquatch taking a shot. Ricocheting off. And of course, it's just going to go out for a goal kick. Goalie Stephen will go out there to pick up the ball. These two teams have met up already as we come close to the end of this uh, summer championship. We have another week or two to go before we'll hit the playoffs and then into the final on the 5th of September. These teams have uh, fairly played fairly well to advance in the standings. Of course, right now, as we speak, uh, the top four includes the White Eagles. Sasquatch is still struggling between sixth and fifth place and desperately does need these points in order to move up. Goalkeeper Arlov, longtime goalkeeper for this club, clears the ball up into the center, right into the hands of the White Eagles. Patty's now on top of that ball. Going to try to find an opportunity to cross in. Oh, here's an opportunity. Will he be able to make it? No, just cleared. For a White Eagles throw in. Little word from our sponsors, pizzapizza.ca. Always fresh. You can order directly your pizza online. And of course, vo.co. The cameras that we are using is an automated AI camera. Does not require a cameraman. Deep throw in, Sasquatch clears. They're going to be moving the ball up. Here comes an opportunity. Sasquatch playing aggressively on that ball. They do not want to give up. Patty gets now a nice opportunity to penetrate deep into the Sasquatch zone. Arlov is there to pick up. And he's going to take his time to clear that ball. Small little crowd here uh, this afternoon since it is uh, a little cloudy today. Some of the spectators have decided to stay home. Oh, there's a, there's a little knock there. Referee picks up on that. Looks like a rather aggressive play by the White Eagles uh, midfielder. Possibly a, a, an elbow may have appeared as our camera pans over to the, uh, to the area. Our player is now up. It looks like uh, player Hamilton. He's still a bit uh, shaken up. He's going to try to shake that off and get back into the game. Referee getting into position and will whistle for the restart of the game. We're now about 10 minutes into the game. We have a nil-nil score right here at the Premiership de Montreal division of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League deep ball and looks like a foul was there 
it will be given to the white eagles curious to see how this uh, championship will finish at the top of the standings right now Verdansk FC followed by FC United and rounding out are the white eagles and uh, the final position still being decided whether the Zenefon, Sabolero or Sasquatch will take up that final fourth place spot into this uh, summer 2021 playoffs. Nice little lob on the side. Opening possibility for Sasquatch. We'll try to play it in on, and ricochets off the defense. It'll be out for a corner kick. Premiership has been around uh, since 2009. First year of the Premiership uh, showed up on the winter side, 7-7 seven, seven indoors. While the Premiership 11 aside first reared its head in 2010. Nice long history of the Premiership division. Oh, nice little lob in. Sasquatch going to recoup that ball. Take another shot in. Ooh, just wide above Stefan's head. And out for a goal kick. Premiership de Montreal plays all its games here at the McGill Mosin Stadium during the summer. Typical season starts beginning of May and will conclude by mid-August. Just in time for the university to restart their athletic programs for their students. And of course, Premiership continues into the winter months on a 7-7 seven seven, uh, format, mini football. Also a different game, but uh, a lot of excitement to watch. Hopefully, uh, we will have coverage of some of those games this upcoming winter season. For more information, don't hesitate to get in touch with corporatesoccer.ca. I'm sure uh, many uh, opportunities to play in this uh in this league tackle now at the center oh a nasty little tackle there right on the, the f right on the knees and seems like they just uh, brushed it off both of them referees uh, giving them a nice little verbal warning just to make sure that none of this uh, will be tolerated rightfully so free kick will be taken up around the 50th mark Deep, nice, long, deep ball right into possibility, but again, just out and off the White Eagles defense for a corner kick. Don't forget to follow us here at Premiership Soccer on our YouTube channel. Click the subscription button and don't forget to click on that little bell to make sure that you get all the latest updates every time we post a new game. as we wait for the corner kick to be taken here it comes dropping in just off the head of the white eagles back off to sasquatch now again white eagles they will clear it up on top of the left side sasquatch will get access to it and nice nice control there on the sasquatch player an opportunity to cross will cross it in oh a nice opening there Nothing, nothing. Defense says no and up onto Patty's legs. And a nice opportunity now for a counter attack. Very quick at that. Keeper Arlov comes rushing out to clear that ball back up to the center side. And now sent back in. Lipari now on top of the ball, but he's offside. Very different uh, approach as we see uh, the Sasquatch team. We've uh, seen Sasquatch in the past during the course of this season play a bit more uh, weight ball whereas here they're being a lot more attentive and on uh, on top of the ball making sure that they are aggressive to get access to it Sasquatch uh, just gives up the ball throw in by the White Eagles White Eagles now on top of the ball back up to the top center now looking for a way to cross it in. Both Patty and the other attacker is there. And here comes a nice counter attack. Good possibility. 
Can they open up? Is this is Lippery fast enough to catch up? Doesn't seem so. Just goes out now for a throw in. 15 minutes in now. Nil nil. Premiership to Montreal, division of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. Here comes an attempt. Uh, they're still waiting. Definitely taking long. Still hasn't let it go out of his hands. Bit surprising that the referee hasn't called yet. And just out for a goal kick. Here comes the clear right in the center side. Sasquatch takes over the ball. Sasquatch clearly has had uh, the upper hand in possession for the first 15 minutes of the game. Here's a nice opportunity for Sasquatch. We'll try to cross it over just off of the uh, White Eagles player for a Sasquatch throw in. lob in oh open side but the player wasn't there can he get access to it on time not enough but will be able to recoup and have a decent throw in we can see coach Nadler on the side pensive trying to understand where the boys uh, are going in this game nice little log Oh, here's an attempt, and just out. Been a tricky summer. Weather has been uh, relatively cooperating, but uh, the ongoing pandemic is still an ongoing concern. The league has placed certain protocols in place, and while we are in the summer months where most of us are spending our time outdoors, we are uh, managing to control uh, the, uh, the pandemic relatively well. Drops uh, into the center, players down, and it will be a foul given for White Eagles to take advantage of. Looks like that was uh, number 99 uh, who went down. White Eagles now deep in this uh, territory. It's an offside. Greek referee uh, Mano Gavalas picks up on it. Arlov clears the ball very quickly for an opportunity for the Sasquatch players to try to move that ball further up. And that ball now in deep in the White Eagles territory is played back to its keeper Stefan and he sends it back up. Oh, nice little attempt by Sasquatch to get onto the ball first and it will go out in favor of the White Eagles. Throw in now. Patty gets access to the ball first, but it seems like it did go out. And throw in will be given for Sasquatch team. Nice deep throw in. Turnover to the White Eagles side. Patty just misses the ball, but now recoups. Oh, a foul there. Good thing that uh, both players were able to recoup from that fairly quickly. No bookings on that uh, on that play. cleared all the way up right into the hands of a White Eagles keeper Stefan for a very easy save and he will clear that ball deep up on top of the left side of the pitch and over to the Sasquatch side they will try to clear that ball and remain in possession 20 minutes in Sasquatch has clearly had a much better possession average uh, than their opponent tonight 
a much better handle on the ball of the Sasquatch team that we have seen progress during the course of this summer season. Will they be able to finish any of their shots on net? It's to be seen. We definitely will have 70 minutes more to watch that happen. White Eagles are a bit older than this very young squad. Right into Arlov's hands. And he was going to look very quickly to clear that ball. Sasquatch has an average age of roughly uh, 21 years of age, where most of the players, oh, little attack from the back, Lippery uh, tries to get access to the ball, foul is called, White Eagle is going to send that ball deep, oh Patty's there, oh with it right into an open net but unfortunately missed just wide. White Eagles average age is hovering uh, slightly above 31 years of age. Almost a 10 year gap between these two clubs. But as we have seen throughout the course of the history of this division, age is sometimes relative. Experience definitely counts most of the time for a lot more than just the age gap. Ball is just going to stroll out leisurely for a White Eagles kick-in. We still have a nil-nil score here at the Premiership de Montreal. Division of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. First substitution already. Fourth official Igor uh, Harsh crew from Belarusia will post up the uh, change board. And it looks like Adam, number 99, is going to come out of the game very early on for the White Eagles course we saw Adam the other night score a hat-trick wonderful three goals right up until the dying minutes of the game against Verdanx FC a little windy here as you can uh, hear the microphones on the pitch catching uh, the winds change done and the ball drops right into the hands of Sasquatch. Can they keep hold of that ball? Let's see how far they can go and how far they can finish. Oh, defensive error there. But uh, seems like a foul. But the referee decides not to give anything. Referee is whistling, indicating... Uh, something definitely wrong with the player maybe some talk back there giving him a, a verbal warning a stern verbal warning at that Tunisian referee uh, Azmi Kaya is known for a good handle of man management during the course of any premiership game here uh, at the Molson Stadium nice cross on top good opportunity to change sides of the pitch still holding on to that ball Sasquatch is going to try to move that ball up and right into the hands of our love. Nice clear on the right side. Ball is going to be played up deep with the ball dropping. High foot, rightfully so. Contact was made and a foul is given advantage uh, White Eagles. Looks like there's going to be another substitution here. 25th minute practically and this time it's the turn of Sasquatch number 8 Salmazi now onto the pitch excellent midfielder a lot of depth good versatility tends to be a key member of this team ball now being played up Two sets of brothers playing on this uh, Sasquatch team. One of them, of course, the uh, the managers of this team is the Caponi brothers. Out for uh, White Eagles kick in, 25 minutes in. 
still nil nil. Here comes uh, here comes the ball. Whistle has been blown. Seems like there is an issue. Linesman has raised this flag. Not quite sure what's going on. Referee Kaya is going to rush over to Greek referee Mano Gavalars and we'll have a slight, small little discussion just to figure out what's going on. Of course, our VO camera focuses predominantly on the ball and so it's a bit outside of our purview but uh, everything seems to be back or at least uh, it seems like it's back to normal and it'll be a goal kick clear again seems like we're just going to retake that kick whistle has been blown and now we're back up nice clear Sasquatch still on top of that ball. Whistle again blown. Sasquatch is going to take that uh, free kick top of the 55th-56th line nice little long ball and right into the hands of the keeper he'll clear it up for an opening let's see who gets access to that ball Patty's there Sasquatch back up onto the ball another turnover here and again back and forth This is part of watching a team progress in the Premiership to Montreal is watching precisely that, the progression. This young squad uh, struggled a bit at the beginning of the season and now uh, beginning to mesh together. Team definitely playing better, better on the positioning. Seems like more communication is happening. Ball is out for White Eagles uh, throw in another substitution now seems like this is the moment to uh, bring on the subs two substitutions at this point little tackle there not enough to stop the Sasquatch offense nice little lob through opportunity push the player to the floor it's one way of doing it thrown back in very quickly nice lob Salmasi's there good piece of defensive work seems like a small little argument there Nothing there, boys. Problem with uh, with uh, age gap is precisely that sometimes. Referee has now called over the player and has given a booking for the White Eagles. It seems like uh, referee Kaya did not appreciate uh, that little kerfuffle and that uh, discussion there. Referee Kaya basically will not have any of this kind of uh, instigation. Nice little lob in. 
and keeper is there to save it right back up onto the hands of Sasquatch shot on net and right into the defensive wall Sasquatch again right into the possession now gonna try to look for a cross nice cross in right into the hands of Stefan the White Eagles keeper by far the best keeper so far in this uh, championship uh, we'll sit, wait and see how it fares out until the end but the White Eagles keeper by far has been uh, outperforming all the other uh, keepers in the division so far foul there another counter foul he's definitely White Eagles players frustrated but uh, referee won't have any of it and seems like player went down touched the ball and the handball was called 31 minutes in word from our sponsor pizzapizza.ca always fresh take advantage and place your order directly online patty now on top of the ball oh nice little cross in players nice and open our love is right there oh nasty bit of uh, foul there referee doesn't whistle anything the attacking player went fairly high up could have possibly injured the Sasquatch keeper but both of them in good sport good faith shake it off and back into the play whistle now blown And a booking has just been issued directly to the Sasquatch player. Sasquatch player is raising his hands, not quite sure what is being, uh, what's transpiring. Must have been a word, uh, or must have been an exchange of words there. But tolerance level on th this match official today is very, very closed. Another uh, throw in now for the White Eagles. Nice little lob. Top of the left side, trying to get that ball loose. Sasquatch uh, gets access to it, moves it uh, fairly well, crossing it over. Uh, here's a nice cross oh handball there referee clearly saw it number 86 had uh, access to the ball directly up to his hand and uh, free kick will be given at the top of the 40 line player the uh, defending player is not moving back ball is being taken Sasquatch now on top of that ball. Over to uh, White Eagles. Nice lob. Nice deep lob. Player goes down. Referee doesn't say anything. Arlov gets access to that ball. Shots on net from the uh, White Eagles have been fairly weak so far. Uh, one third uh, of the playing time into this game. Possession clearly on the advantage of Sasquatch. But few uh, direct shots on net. Sasquatch is there. Nice shot on net into the uh, White Eagles defense. Patty's now number 12. Trying to push forward with the ball. Oh, nice opening here on the bottom of the right side. Looking for that cross. Cross in. And just wide. Good attempt from the uh, Polish side. White Eagles uh, still playing fairly well in their inaugural season into the Premiership Division. Sasquatch now on the on the counter attack. Oh, pushed and foul! Definitely, the referee is raising his flag. Thirty-five minutes in, we have a nil-nil game dangerous uh, position here and a good opportunity for the 
Sasquatch team to convert this defensive error into a goal. Referee Kaya is going to be taking the ceremonial steps to make sure that the White Eagles wall is placed uh, accordingly. And here comes a, a really nice opportunity to convert this error into a goal. Whistle blown, shot taken, and just off of the head, out for a corner kick. Sasquatch is going to get a second chance here to be able to uh, convert this into a goal. Goal scored between the White Eagles and Sasquatch. White Eagles has the upper hand. They have definitely scored more goals this season. Sasquatch team, while playing well defensively, has struggled in converting those goals. Here comes the ball. And uh, just out. Missed opportunity there. And it will be a White Eagles kick in. You're watching the Premiership de Montreal here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League at the McGill Molson Stadium, right downtown Montreal. This has been the home of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League now for close to 15 years. A lot of good memories uh, coming out of this stadium. Premiership has seen several champions uh, come about. Last champions was Peaky Blinders where the final was played at the base of the Olympic Stadium and the year prior was Verdansk under the name of the CCSL All-Stars or selection team. Here's an opportunity now for the White Eagles. A slight tackle there, keeping up the possession. Nice crossover and just wide hitting the football poles. Quick clear. Sasquatch on top of the ball. Sasquatch down on top of that. White Eagles. Sasquatch on top of that. Sending the ball back up to our love, the keeper. Sasquatch again, still in possession. And here's now an opportunity for the White Eagles. Sasquatch defense still there. Oh, a turnover. Could cost them. Oh, Sasquatch, nice recuperating of that ball. And of course, just off of the foot of the White Eagles. And it will go out in favor of Sasquatch. Sasquatch now for with a counter attack here. Paddy's on top of that ball. Here's a cross in. Oh, Arlov got a piece of that and it'll go out. Not quite, not quite, not quite. It will be a goal kick, very light clear. Another week. Instead of clearing it way up, classic, uh, classic, what we see here of players uh, playing, getting used to playing uh, small-sided football, tends to clear the ball uh, closer to their crease. Almost 40 minutes in, you're watching Premiership de Montreal here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. We're we're right downtown at the McGill University Percival Molson Stadium, home of the. Montreal Alouettes of the Canadian Football League as you can clearly see the lines of uh, the CFL on their pitch and ball will be out 
for Sasquatch throw in. 40 minutes in so far, so still nil nil. Sasquatch now with an opportunity deep in the White Eagle zone. We'll look for that opportunity to cross in. Sasquatch still in possession. Playing that ball around. Nice little uh, deep in. Can they cross it in now? And just out for another corner kick. Sasquatch has not been able to convert any of their corner kicks so far in this game. the uh, lob in Sasquatch in possession shot on net just off of the defense White Eagles will clear that ball Sasquatch back on top of it back and forth Sasquatch holding on to that ball Sasquatch again crossing it in into Stefan's hands he will clear that ball into the center side Patty's there to recoup and he will send that up deep up to their attacker nice opportunity there nice possibility And just wide for a White Eagles kick. And it'll go out for a Sasquatch goal kick. Arlov positioning that ball is going to get ready to clear it as we get into the dying minutes of the first half and sent way up to the center side White Eagles first on top of that ball now sent back up back and forth possession still with White Eagles White Eagles on top of the left side will try to move that ball in possible cross in Patty's there can he get access to the ball in time? Not enough, says our love, as he grabs onto that ball and clears it up on top of the left side. Counter attack now. And just out. in still on the headers Patty on top of that one top of the left side for White Eagles still in possession crossing into the center moving it over and a good way to cross out unfortunately Patty wasn't there in time to get access to that ball and will be out Still in possession, White Eagles. And cross over to Sasquatch. Sasquatch now with a nice counter attack. And just goes out. Dying seconds here. And again for another Sasquatch throw in. just out foul throw at that looks like uh, White Eagles will pick up on that ball and referee Kaya explaining the error here comes the cross 
slight tackle there but Sasquatch still in possession of the ball playing it back moving it forward nice nice long ball unfortunately uh, Sasquatch may have access to that ball a little touch of it and there is the halftime referee uh, Kaya decides to whistle right at the 45 minute and change and we will take a break after this halftime nil nil so far between Sasquatch FC and the White Eagles of Montreal you're watching the Premiership division here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League and we'll be right back after these this little break And we are back and ready for that kickoff. Here we go. Both teams now coming back up strong. Robert McCafferty here with you on this uh, fine Sunday. Sasquatch again with the uh, the ball, still in possession. First half, Sasquatch had clear ball possession advantage above uh, White Eagles but White Eagles did come close at least twice here comes Adam Peters oh little little bumping there not enough to bring Adam down and there comes the foul advantage of Sasquatch seems like Adam was holding his uh, defensive uh, opponent Sasquatch now with the hold of the ball at the center side. Oh, foul there. Ball is cleared. And ball just crosses the line. And that'll go out for a White Eagles throw in. Sasquatch on top of that ball. Sasquatch still on top of that ball. Playing it in. Nice little crossover. And here comes uh, counter attack now. White Eagles top to the left side. Will cross in. Sasquatch defense gets access to it first. White Eagles back on top of it. We'll try to see another opportunity up on top of the right side. Crossing over. Sasquatch still on top of it. Here comes another possibility. Turnover now. Here's a possible shot on nets. Open net. And just wide. That'll go out for a corner kick. comes the cross in and right into the hands of Arlov clearing now for a quick counter attack reprise there and they convert here's an opportunity for a cross in here open it just wide not enough time to get uh, that ball into the back of the net and that ball still in play but in f no in fact it is out for a goal kick was a nice open net unfortunately the uh, Sasquatch team simply wasn't there to get that ball through Stefan clears that ball over to the right side White Eagles uh, does not get access to it in time that ball will go out for a Sasquatch throw in. And the ball drops. Foul there. Happened just under the eyes of the center referee.
That's Almazi on top of that ball. Looks like Hamilton is there. Ball at the top of the box. Here's now a little fancy footwork trying to move that ball over. Looking for an opening in the middle. Nice little crossover. Nobody's there. Sasquatch has an opportunity for a cross in right in the middle. Player is not necessarily there. Nice opportunity now. Can they finish? Everyone's screaming out for a handball, but nothing is there. Sasquatch still on top of the ball. Salmazi on top of it. Crossing it over. And White Eagles will kick that out for, for a corner kick. 15 minutes in, nil-nil. Surprising by the White Eagles uh, as they are a high-scoring team. But the Sasquatch defense has been uh, excellent this summer, very similar to what we have seen and watched the summer prior. Sasquatch getting ready for that uh, corner kick and that ball will drop Sasquatch still in possession sending that ball back in and will be going out for a goal kick Stefan will be there to recoup that ball you're watching Premiership de Montreal here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League we are downtown Montreal on this fine 12th of August fine evening right at the McGill Mo Percival Molson Stadium and ball is now cleared again repossessed over to the Sasquatch back up to White Eagles White Eagles now up on top of the middle looking for that opening we'll send that ball through but defense says no Sasquatch now. Can they move that ball in? Oh, nice cross. And it'll go out for a White Eagles throw in. A little far from the line, but good enough to get that ball back into play. Crossing over top of the left side. Sasquatch will now play it up. We'll look for those openings. Crossing it back into it. Midfields now lob that ball right into Stefan's hands. You need to get close enough to be able to take that shot on net. But of course you must penetrate the hard defense. PizzaPizza.ca, our sponsor here at the Premiership de Montreal. Always fresh. Take advantage and place your orders online. Don't forget to follow our channel, Premiership Soccer. Click that subscribe button and click the little bell to be reminded every time a new video is posted online. Nice, uh, nice follow through there. Little tripping. Ball is still in play, crossed over, and that ball is going to get kicked out just in time for a Sasquatch goal kick. Again, surprising that Sasquatch has still yet to score. Attempts on net hasn't been very, uh, very forthcoming. Whistle, whistle is blown. Nice cross. But it will go out for a goal kick. <coughs> An eventful game so far for both teams. <coughs> We're used to seeing a lot more goals coming out of White Eagles. Ball crossed in, crossed over, 
Ooh. And just uh, ricochets off. And looks like it will simply be a goal kick. 55 minutes, nil nil. Here at the Premiership to Montreal. Just out for another uh, throw in for the White Eagles. Nice little lob. Ball dropping. Opportunity. Can they can they convert? Not enough. White Eagles defense won't have any of that. White Eagles now trying to get that ball out. Sasquatch playing rather aggressive to keep that ball back in the zone. And just out. Sasquatch will send that ball back in. Ponies there. Sending that ball deep. Turning it over. Back up to Arlov. Arlov clears that ball. And it's out for a throw in for the advantage of Sasquatch. the uh, throw in player down Murphy says to play on ball is out for a throw in advantage White Eagles and here comes the long throw in turn over And another turnover there, kicked right into the defensive wall. The defense is going to look for a quick counterattack. Sends that ball back up deep. Opportunity for the White Eagles back on top of that ball. Can they kick that ball in? Nothing. comes the cross and of course nothing's there out for a White Eagles uh, kick in Stefan Rubel will be there to recoup that ball as we round about at the top of almost the 58th minute As you can see, our camera is panning over to the Montreal Neurological Institute, famous institute here at the McGill University, connected to the stadium. Ball is cleared on top of the left side, turned over. Sasquatch still on top of that ball. We'll try to move it in now quickly. Possible cross in, just off of the defense. Defense is still there, but back on possession with... Uh, Sasquatch, Sasquatch looking to now lob that ball back in again. Opportunity, crossed in, and just out for goal kick. As we wait for the ball to be uh, positioned and ready to be cleared by the White Eagles keeper. Here comes the ball dropped in on top of the left side. Position back up with Sasquatch. Sasquatch playing it in. Looking for an opportunity. 
lads over at Sasquatch changed their name from Penetrators to Sasquatch as they believe a fictitious uh, monster living up in the cold uh, Canadian North will bring them better luck and uh, a better name to show their ability to play this game. Oh, it was a dangerous scenario here where Arlov came way out and was intercepted by the White Eagles uh, striker but not enough to get a goal in. Turnover again, White Eagles back up to Sasquatch, Sasquatch still on top of the ball crossed over Sasquatch Sasquatch still in possession Sasquatch again and kicked just out for a goal kick rather a corner kick in favor of Sasquatch here at the 60th minute still nil nil here at the Premiership de Montreal seems like both sides have simply have not been very fortunate to connect with each other and with their attackers couple of opportunities earlier on in the game for both teams but never capitalized and as the player positions the ball we are just about ready to get that ball rolling and here comes the kick deep in and just uh, going wide Sasquatch still with uh, possession is going to try to move in again another possible cross and now deep up going into the zone players are now moving in White Eagles having possession of that ball is going to try to find a way to cross in and just cleared to the delight of the crowd Eagles turnover now to Sasquatch. Sasquatch is going to try to hold on to that ball and switch sides. Still there. Good little clear by Lickery. Sasquatch on the top. Uh, crossing opportunity now. White Eagles. White Eagles back on top. Turnover again. White Eagles again. Sasquatch back up to it. Sending that ball into the into the White Eagles' hands. And they will take advantage of this opportunity. Get that ball moving out on the right side. Looking for that opening. And it looks like a push to the ground, but whistle, no whistle was blown on that action. Sasquatch now with possession. And he's going to try to find a way out of their zone. Both teams seem uh, a little tired uh, this evening. Not the same energy uh, that we're used to seeing either in, from both sides. White Eagles have a tendency to score a higher number of goals while Sasquatch uh, gives a bit more uh, on the ball but they have been performing fairly well with overall uh, advantage of possessions and playing a lot more aggressive than what we have seen earlier on into this championship. Whistle is blown. Referee seems to uh, be talking to the White Eagles. He will allow a double substitution at this point. Looks like both uh, teams are going to be uh, requiring some subs. 
As we can clearly hear the uh, stadium announcer announcing the substitution on both sides. Five minutes in, here comes the throw in. Still nil nil. And seems like a foul there. Referee has whistled again for another substitution at this point in the game. It looks like Sasquatch is going to be bringing in some fresh legs. They both need it. Looks like Salmazi coming out. Surprising. Number seven now sprinting onto the pitch, replacing four Salmazi. Sasquatch in possession here. And nice little lob. It's going to be cleared on the opposite side of the pitch with a possible opening. We'll send that ball deep in. And is there anybody home? Doesn't seem so. Going to be out for a goalie kick. Almost uh, two thirds of this game already completed. And it is still nil nil with another substitution coming in the hands of the White Eagles. So long, a long time veteran of the club. Nice long ball. White Eagles still on top of it. Sasquatch turnover. Sasquatch looking for a counter attack. A quick one at that. And sending it down the line. And it will simply roll out for a goal kick. In the Premiership de Montreal here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League, right here at the McGill Mosin Stadium on this uh, 12th of August. Early evening it is. Here comes the clear, top of the left side. Sasquatch gets a first ball and first crack at it. Still in possession. Turnover now. And whistle blown for a foul advantage Sasquatch can they convert this is the big question up on top of the 35th uh, yard line still relatively close for a possible scoring opportunity can they convert here comes the shot nice little log in header but just wide and out for a goal kick say anything Sasquatch still on top of that ball looking for the quick attack still on top of the left side sending it in deeper looks like uh, White Eagles will get access to that ball first and it'll be out for a goal kick Opportunity to take advantage of another substitution. Looks like both teams are going to be uh, taking advantage of that. 
It's a little bit on the frustrating side to see all these changes in the past 10 minutes. Definitely not easy um, to keep that momentum running. Of course, uh, not everyone is a uh, young lad or a professional player, and thus uh, those changes are much needed and very welcome by both players, as everybody needs to take a breast and uh, a breather uh, in this long 90-minute game. Counterattack now, opportunity! And nothing there, nothing there. White Eagles clearly takes advantage of that. Crossover. Number 29. There's another opportunity now. He's going to send that ball up to Patty. Patty is not going to get there on time. The defense simply won't have it. Number 29 still in possession. Sending that ball over. And not the shot on net. Just wide. As that ball is refusing to cross over the goal line today. Very frustrating for both teams. A little bit more than 70 minutes of play and we have a nil-nil score here at the Premiership de Montreal. Sasquatch FC vying for a position in the top four. Desperately do need those points to make sure that they can secure a playoff berth in the next two weeks. Whereas the White Eagles are looking at remaining in that top four position in order to get access, of course, to the playoffs by the end of this championship. Here's a nice uh, quick counter-attack. Sasquatch is there to defend, but White Eagles is still going to make an attempt, and it looks like a foul has been uh, accorded. White Eagles are going to try to take advantage of this fairly quickly, and quick play has been taken. Sasquatch was there to get rid of that ball, and now on the bottom of the right side Sasquatch is going to look for that cross in nice little opportunity and no one is there Sasquatch still in possession there's a shot Sasquatch again Sasquatch nice little cross again going to be looking for that open person defense moving up way up And just out for a throw in. Looks like the referee is changing the direction of that throw in. And is going to give it to the White Eagles. Thrown in. And another foul now given to the advantage of Sasquatch. The age gap can also clearly be seen in terms of the amount of fouls. The older a player gets, uh, there's a tendency, according to the numbers, to show that an older player will foul more often as a younger player. Of course, there are no generalities here, but the stats do indicate there is a correlation between fouls and age gaps. Here comes the whistle. Sasquatch is going to take that uh, nice little lob. Everybody here. Oh, what a shame. A possibility for an open net for Sasquatch, but the angle was slightly off, and the Sasquatch player simply was not able to complete and finish uh, that opportunity, especially to his liking. It'll go out for a White Eagles kick in. Right here at the Premiership to Montreal. Still nil-nil. Ball is going to drop. Here it comes. Counter-attack. Sasquatch still having access. Opportunity. Sasquatch still in possession. 
So that's course moving up. Nice open net, but just lobs the ball right in front of our love to simply scoop up the ball and clear it all the way up to his lads. Sasquatch playing, but foul has been accorded in favor of uh, Sasquatch right on top of the 45th line. It looks like Adam once again will be coming off the field. Not the same legs as we once had. 90 minutes games can clearly take a toll on one's body. And of course, being a a non-professional league training levels are simply not the same here's a nice little lob in opportunity uh, just just out just out for a goal kick missed missed opportunity uh, we would have had a nice a nice little net header right into the net but went just wide in fact it has gone out for a corner kick so Sasquatch will be setting up that ball and getting ready to get that uh, that ball into that net. There is a call for a change. We can clearly see the next team getting warmed up and getting ready for this game on the, on the side on the sidelines. White Eagles will be affecting a change at this point. A nice long, long haul. Sasquatch still in possession. Sasquatch again. Sasquatch is going to get that ball to cross over. Sasquatch again in good position for a cross. Can they do it? Nice opportunity now. And just missed. And a good little quick turnover. White Eagles is going to try to make uh, much out of this. And taking a shot. And of course, over the head of our love. The, the Sasquatch defense, rather quick on their counter reaction, was able to sprint all the way up uh, to the White Eagles attacking player. And putting enough pressure on him to be able to inaccurately take that shot and of course miss it completely wide. Sasquatch back on top of the ball. Nice opportunity here on the right side. Maybe for a cross. Looking for that opening. Crossing. And here's here's an opportunity now, but White Eagles defense won't have any of it. White Eagles on top of that ball. Over on top of the left side. Just goes out for a throw in. Deep throw in. Oh, and the ball pushed to the ground for the White Eagles. White Eagles made an attempt, was blocked. Another opportunity now on the right side, crossing it over. And Arlov gets a touch of that ball. Counter attack. Great piece of defensive work there. Nothing happens. Player is now on the floor. Oh, and the player is taken down. The keeper is taken down. Referee calls just at the right time. And a substitution will be made for the White Eagles. As well as the Sasquatch. The ball is being brought back. Referee was there to make, make sure that the keeper was not injured. Now ball being uh, played up again. Just out for a throw in. Whistle is blown. 79th minute there will be a substitution. back into the game the 
nice uh, deep throw in. Sasquatch uh, still on top of that ball. Back up on top of the left side. Possible cross. And just out for a throw in. Almost at top of the 80th minute, we still have nil nil here at the Premiership to Montreal. Sasquatch FC versus the White Eagles of Montreal. Ten minutes to go before the end of this game. And still no score. A little disappointing to be watching as we were expecting a definitely a higher scoring game. But still, still a good piece of footballing as the Sasquatch FC team has definitely uh, stepped up their game being a lot more aggressive on the ball defensive work there and cleared just on time Hamilton is going to have that ball and he's going to try to find a way to move it up moved up on the top of the right side looking for that cross any opportunities back up to the player Here's it. Oh, a tackle there and a whistle will be blown. Player is down. It's not looking, not at all looking very good. Referee Kaya is uh, taking a look and assessing the situation. Trying to see if anything uh, merits. And indeed so. Uh, booking has been issued against uh, the White Eagles. Looks like that that play was slightly a bit too aggressive for the match officials taste and uh, White Eagles will have to absorb that card. Here at the uh, Premiership de Montreal every single booking and send-off carries a financial fine which the players must settle before their next game. Substitution now Looks like Salmazi is going to finally come back into the game. Only eight minutes, a little less than eight minutes to play. And of course, seems like a double substitution. And the player is now getting, uh, getting ready for this... Uh, Free kick, Salmazi will be taking it. Whistle is blown. Ball is sinking in. Opportunity. Open net. Nothing there. Still a counter attack. Can they re recoup? Ricochets off the defense. Defensive off the head. And Sasquatch just clears the ball. And Sasquatch is going to take the uh, throw in. Here looking for again that opportunity. Nice recuperating of that ball, moving it in. And looks like an offside has been called by Greek referee Manos Gavalis. And White Eagles will repossess that ball deep into their zone and will look to clear as far as they can in order to get that momentum going for the dying minutes of this game of course both teams need the points Sasquatch probably needs it more nil nil will give them a point each ball is now back in and here comes uh, again back and forth ball sent in deep over to the White Eagles side Steven is there to recoup and is going to try to find a way to clear that ball deep enough to get a counter attack going here comes that counter attack in question but now in possession is the Sasquatch defense and then over to the top of the left side Patty's there can he convert something
Here's the cross in. Oh, a little, little pushing and shoving there, but the whistle has been blown just in time. Arlov had lost control of that ball, but it seems like he was pushed in order to lose that ball. Substitution now at the 85th minute of game. We're coming really towards the end. Both teams are desperately trying to position a possible uh, goal in order to take the full three points. But of course at this point even a nil-nil draw will uh, suffice after a long and excruciating um, game where both sides have made all the efforts possible to get that ball across the goal line. And we're just waiting on the referee to place that whistle, waiting for the final switches of course. And here comes long ball. Our love was there just in time to recoup that ball and clearing it up to his players. Possible foul there. Yes, referee has picked up on it and has seen it and will accord the free kick in favor of Sasquatch. Caldana started to the end of this game. Foul is uh, called. Whistle is blown. White Eagles will have possession of that ball. And now sent in deep. Right into our love's hands. PizzaPizza.ca, always fresh. Take advantage of placing an order directly online. And of course, follow this channel, Premiership Soccer. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell in order to be reminded every time a new video appears on our screens. Ball is cleared out and it will be a Sasquatch throwing deep in the zone. This is actually a nice opportunity for Sasquatch to convert something being so far into their uh, offensive zone. And the ball is taken. Defense has access to that ball. Pressure has been applied. Not enough. It will go back to the White Eagles. White Eagles taking that ball deep. Here comes that ball. An opportunity maybe. little pushing and shoving. Referee doesn't say anything. Arlov on top of that ball. And clears it up on top of the left side. Right in over a turn in a turnaround. Patty is there. Sending that ball deep. Can they convert? Nothing there. Goes wide. Sasquatch again will try to find in the dying minutes an opportunity to score that goal. Oh foul there against Almasi. Nice opportunity now, but of course the defense is there to stop any counterattack. White Eagles now looking for the same thing. Sasquatch was there first to get access to that ball, sending it over to the middle side. Nice bit of footballing there, a nice clean tackle to get back the possession. White Eagles now on top of that ball. And still looking for a prime possession holder, and that is the White Eagles. White Eagles still on top of that ball. Sending that ball deep into Arlov's hands. And counter attack back and forth. Back into Sasquatch's hands. A little less than one minute to go before regulation time is up. ball still still rolling counter attack Samazi is there nothing possibility now can they score something
Oh, a nice little lob through and into the hands of the White Eagles keeper, Stefan, with a diving catch, and he will try to clear that ball quickly within the dying seconds of this game. 15 seconds to go before any added time is added. White Eagles still on top of that ball. Counterattack now. And here's the whistle for just a foul. We will have some extra time in this game. Ball is placed, but the wall isn't. Request for the player to back up is uh, done. And Sasquatch is going to try once again to convert this into a three pointer game and lands into the box, but nobody is there. Whistle is blown for a foul in favor of the White Eagles. And that is the end of the game. Thank you for watching this uh, game here at the Premiership de Montreal, here at the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. This is Robert McCafferty signing out.